All right, here we go. This is a World Cup game. It's going to be uh, Philippines versus Wales. So representing the Philippines is Gorabelli playing Phoenix, and representing Wales is I'm a Bunny, a.k.a. Dare, playing Crane. Uh, let's see how the series is going so far. So, so far it looks like Wales is up 1-0. to zero. Um, Still one more game to be played after this one. Phoenix is going to be first player here. Wow, interesting. So both of these clans were running Keeper roles, actually. Keeper of Air, Keeper of Water. Um, Phoenix going to find a Keeper Initiate already here, and an Adept of the Waves as well. Um, pretty good to go along with that. Let's take a look at the decks real quick. So Phoenix is running Lion Splash, um, two Legion of One, three Ancestor Strength, two ready for battle. Interesting. Has two Goblin Sneaks in the deck as well. Wow, and three Walking the Ways. That's a lot of Walking the Way. Uh, the restricted list card is Charge. So yep, running the Charge Bird. Um, other, <clears throat> other than that, looks pretty normal. Ooh, wow, okay, so the Crane deck is running Keeper of Air so that they could go Unicorn Splash. We have two Spyglass, two Talisman, three Wayfinder, two Gaijin Customs. Um, I, I disagree with the two times spyglass. I think if you're running unicorn splash you should always have three spyglass. Um, but I guess crane is going to draw a lot of cards already so maybe you don't need it as much. Ooh wow so adaptive wave is going to go for a watering military here. Finds magistrate station. Um, so crane is really not going to want this to break here but can only defend with the Doji Whisper. Let's see. Yeah, we see no defense. Let's see if there's maybe a conflict character. Ooh, wow, passes. Um, there's an Assassinate on the Cautious Scout. Wow, that's a lot of value there. It had two fate on it. Um, in open deck lists, you should always watch out to see if your opponent has Assassinate. There was one in the Phoenix deck. Uh, and if they do, you have to be a little bit careful about that. So I think what Crane should have done there is if he had a, a way to honor one of his characters, which would pretty much have to be a way of the Crane, uh, he should have honored one of the characters to threaten the Voice of Honor, which he only has two of in the deck. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, but you pretty much can't assassinate if they have more honored characters than you because risking that Voice of Honor is just too big. Uh, we see the Steward of Logget played here, so let's see if he has the Force Shame.
Wow, we see an above question on the Adept of the Waves, but his opponent has already played an event targeting this character. So I'm not sure why he waited until now to play it. Yeah, that was a mistake, it looks like. Um, okay, he does have a Force Shame. Why would you above question your opponent's card before Force Shame? Yeah, I don't like the above question there. I think that was bad timing. Uh, he has a ready for battle, though. So they can against the waves it back. Yeah, that's a good point. Above question prevents against the waves to ready it again. Uh, does not prevent ready for battle, though. Uh, we see a fine katana. As long as he can prevent this break, I think he's fine. The watering is not going to do anything except... I mean, it's going to get him a keeper, and it's going to honor Tsuki, but she would get honored no matter what. Uh-oh. So we see walking the way going to find Fushicho here. So if he has a charge... Okay, there's the way of the crane. So now, if he has Voice of Honor, he can just cancel the charge. <clears throat> uh, let's see if he tries to play it anyway. I would probably try to play charge anyway, because he could just be bluffing Voice of Honor. He only has four cards in hand. Yep, we do see him play it. Let's see if there's the cancel. No, no cancel. Yeah, so it looks like Magistrate Station is going to break here. That is unfortunate. Um, the good thing for Crane, at least, is that this Fushicho is not going to have a target to bring back, actually. So yeah, Magistrate Station does break. So, yeah, I think you, sh you should have just not played the above question at all. Um, And then the other thing you probably should have done is save the Force Shame for the Fushicho when it charges. Just play the Katana first, although you didn't know he was going to do that, so that would... Because uh, that was before he played the Walking the Way, so it wasn't in the province. Yeah, Ready doesn't get cancelled because um, it doesn't actually target the character. Above Question says it can't be chosen as the target of an opponent's event. Uh, so... For something to choose something as a target, it has to say choose a character or something along that line. It has to use the word choose, essentially. And Ready for Battle does not do that, so... Uh, the Doji Whisper is going to go into Upholding Authority here for the Earth Ring. Earth Ring seems good. We see no defense. Yeah. Um. Ooh, so Shrine Maiden going to get played at home. Adds Ancestor Strength to hand and discards Charge and Feral Ningyo. Not really what you want to see get discarded there. Um. He will be able to use Ancestor Strength next turn, since Fushicho will be in the discard, and playing the Shrine Maiden actually means that he will have a card to bring back, uh, although it will be a pretty small one. No, wait, this is a conflict character, never mind. So yeah, Fushicho still won't be able to use the ability. So Upholding Authority, let's see what he finds. Only four cards in hand.
Um, I missed that. So, above question, political rival. Ooh. Wow. He had two political rivals in hand. That's really unfortunate. So, both of those are going to get discarded. Um, he does get the Earth Ring, hits Ancestor's Strength. And now we see a Void Ring coming in at Manicured Garden. Yeah, things are looking pretty bad for Crane. Uh, Crane's board is going to clear here. And Phoenix will still have the Keeper Initiate, Tsuki, and the Adept. And Phoenix will get Favor. Phoenix is going to get two breaks this turn, so... Yeah, not looking good. So that is going to be the break there. So, past conflict, Phoenix will get the favor. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. He chose to discard Solemn Scholar. That's that's actually a big mistake. Uh, because Fushicho can bring him back now. Fushicho didn't have a target before. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't have discarded there. And we see Kanjo District. Yeah, so just everything going wrong for Crane this game, unfortunately. Honestly, I would just concede at this point if I were Crane. Like, I think you're just too far too far behind. Yeah, yeah. Definitely unfortunate. Yeah, discarding discarding the card in the province gave Fushicho a, tar a target, which was the Solemn Scholar. Uh, so that was a mistake. I'm not actually sure. I can't remember if the card was face up or face down. I think it was face up, right? But yeah, either way, you should not discard it. Uh, here comes the Brash Samurai. There's Uona. The two political rivals on the Upholding Authority discard was pretty brutal as well. Um, Kalo Delegate. So Phoenix gets the passing fate there. Um, both players should bid five. Ooh, wow, Crane is going to bid 1. So he brings Phoenix down to 4 honor. This is not going to do anything, though, except mean that Crane has no cards in his hand. Uh, he does have a Spyglass. And 
and there's no attachment control so that should stick one times holdings are so balanced yeah Like, honestly, I don't know why anyone would ever think that that would be fun to play against. Uh, ooh, and it's on shameful display. Wow. So now he can defend with somebody, shameful display, and then just send the brash thing right home. If he needs to. He might not need to even. So, yep, there's the shameful display. Bratch Samurai honors himself. Phoenix is still winning. This is the airing, so he's trying to get that keeper, I guess. Uh, looks like he's not going to get it, though. Can Phoenix just break two provinces this turn? To rally to the cause under stronghold. So what you probably do is you go military. Let's see, what face down province are you going to find? Upholding authority or shameful display? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you can break two this turn. Uh, ooh, there's a Gaijin Customs to ready the Brush Samurai. He does still have the Kanjo District. Um, so if you're going to go for two breaks here, you have to attack with Uona and somebody else on military. Both of the provinces are three strength. Go Crane? Yeah, it's not looking too good for Crane. Could reasonably swing political first. Well, I think you should go military first, right? Because uh, the box is rally, so Rona's just going to get bowed by that. If you go military. So you go military first here, you go probably... I was thinking go water to unbow Adept of the Waves. You could even covert somebody uh, and honor the Solemn Scholar. But it's not what he's doing here. If he has any Feral Ningyo in hand, then he probably wants to go water at the Stronghold. Um, he's going to find Upholding Authority, which means if he does have Feral Ningyos, they'll probably get discarded if he breaks this. We see Rash Samurai Defend. Uh, actually, though, the problem with all of this is that he has Talisman in his hand, so there's actually no way you can break the Stronghold this turn. Yeah, you go Water to Honor Solemn Scholar and Ready Honored Adept. I think that is the correct play, but that is not what we see. But yeah, again, if he breaks this and attacks the Stronghold, Crane is just going to play the Talisman, I imagine. Uh, Void is fine. Yeah, Void kills the Brash Samurai, so that's fine. Uh, we see a Walking Away get played. Going to bow the Brash Samurai there. Earth to turn on Solemn Scholar. Yeah. I mean, I think Void is just better than Earth, right? Ooh, Mia Mystic. Uh, so what you could do here is you could charge in Mia Mystic, and then when he plays the Talisman, you just kill it. That could actually win him the game. Upholding Authority is breaking. So if you have charge, you should play it on the Mia Mystic here. Uh, 
Uh, <clears throat> we see a Shrine Maiden going to find Supernatural Storm. That's good. Two chargers in the discard already, so maybe he doesn't have one. Hmm, it looks like he doesn't have the charge, so probably won't be able to break the stronghold this turn, but you can just break the last province and then break the stronghold next turn, right? So I think you're fine. It's going to be first player next turn. Uh, the only problem is everything on his board is going to clear except for this Uona. Cloud the Mind, Court Games, Display of Power, Feral Ningale, Fan, Supernatural Storm, discards the Feral Ningale. So that is two of those in the discard pile now. Uh, Voidering goes off. So, you could actually attack fire here just to get the fate. The Kalo Delegate is going to get Conjo District used on him no matter what, right? Unless he has a conflict character. So yeah, I would consider just attacking fire here, and that is what he does. Wow, he finds meditations on the Tau. Why? So he should have just gone into Shameful there. Shameful had already been used this turn, and it's not like you're going to break anything, right? Uh, Meditations is actually really bad, because the Callow Delegate will die this turn, so unless you have a Conflict character to put Fate on, you won't be able to keep the Talisman until next turn. Um, although I guess that's not a big deal, since he's probably going to be breaking Shameful this turn anyway. See, Defense with Skill 2, Ornate, Fan, Wait... Why are you trying to fight this? Seems kind of odd. See a pass, there's the meditations. Uh, why not display? Yeah, you could have display powered that avoidering, huh? Not sure why he didn't do that. Actually, because this is going to be, um, yeah, I guess you go Earth here. You could you could still display power of the Earth Ring, I guess. But yeah, you're going to have to play the Talisman here to not lose the game. I think. Um, well, not necessarily. Yeah, you will. Cause he has, um, he has ancestors' strength. He has supernatural storm. So yeah, you're gonna have to play the talisman, right? Switches it to military. Uh, you don't have to play it yet. You can get him to spend a card first. There's the Kudanisawa. Let's see what he plays. Supernatural Storm on the Keeper Initiate. So now it is breaking. There's the Talisman. So I'm going to move to Shameful Display. Um won't be able to use shameful display unless he has a conflict character
<laughs> it's probably a joke. Ooh, doesn't have a conflict character. Unfortunate. This looks like sadness. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Um, Crane made some unfortunate mistakes. And then Conjo District happened, so... Ooh, he didn't display a power of the Earth Ring. I wonder what he's saving that for. Like, you should just use that there, right? He could have shameful honor Suki, dishonor keeper. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, it's probably not going to matter. Like, Phoenix is just going to win this game on the next turn, I think. But yeah, definitely relevant. Uh, it's minus one honor. I see people forgetting to use Shameful Display sometimes. Um, like when one character is already honored or dishonored, you can still use it on the other character. If he draws five and... I mean, it still wouldn't matter, right? He has the first attack. So, let's see. What does Crane play here? You still have to watch out for Ancestor's Strength. Um, he could go for like a military attack with just Duona and then play that, and he'll be at 6. So you would have to defend that. Yeah, he'd be at 1 honor. Um, but yeah, I don't think it would matter too much. Plus if Crane bids 1, he has 3 cards in hand, right? Like, he just can't do anything then. Um, so Crane's just going to play a bunch of characters here. Three to five for the bids. Master of Gisei Toshi on the watering. So he can go, um, there's a Spyglass on Kaizen. And a Cloud the Mind, interesting. It's gonna stop him from dueling anybody. So, hmm. Is this going to be political? No. So he's going all in military here with the water ring. Uh, this is going to be skill 5. So you have to defend with everybody, right? Which will be 6. Should have played way of before the conflict, yeah. Uh, so Crane can't play any events here. Conjo District's going to send somebody home, so it'll just be 3. And then all Phoenix has to do is play Ancestor Strength to make this Mia Mystic a 6. Military, right? Like, I think the game is just over. I mean, whoever he honored with Way of the Korean would just get sent home anyway, I guess. There's the Ancestor Strength. Brings him up to 10 skill, 10 to 6. Uh, so still not breaking, but he will be able to send somebody home. Ooh, 
he has walking the way as well, so he's going to bow the Stoji Challenger. And then send home Kaizen. Yeah, so there's nothing Crane can do, right? Discard Conjo, please. Yeah, no. Crane can concede, yeah. <clears throat> There's a fine katana, but it doesn't matter. He's just going to get sent home. Or he can play a Supernatural Storm. That works also. I probably would have played the katana on the delegate. Not that it really matters, but... If you stack up one character, then Contra District just sends that guy home. But yeah, Crane... Pretty sure Crane doesn't have enough here. Um, Phoenix can misclick Conjo on one of his own guys. Yeah, I guess. Finger of Jade, yeah. Plays a Wayfinder. If I stall long enough, maybe your computer crashes. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of bad manners now, right? Yeah, so that is going to be the Concede or the Stronghold Break, same same thing. But yeah, Phoenix will win that game. Now what? Both questions, Steward of Law, Way of the Crane, Bonsai, Force Shame. Yeah, Master of Gise Toshi is pretty good. She basically turns into Guest of Honor if you use her correctly. Um, oh, wait. Phoenix had Display of Power. For some reason, I was thinking that the player on the bottom had display of power. Yeah. Oh, well. But yeah, with that win for Phoenix, that's going to tie this series up at 1-1. One and one. So it'll come down to that last game, which will be a Scorpion Mirror match. Yeah, you should have probably just above questioned the, what's his name, the uh, Kasha Scout, right? So then you can't assassinate him. Small mistake there, I think. Because it didn't really do anything on the Adept of the Waves. He had already played a card on it. But yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this game. Um... So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.